the history of walking canes and sticks can be traced throughout the centuries. Walking sticks started out as a necessary tool. A hefty stick was an excellent way to protect against thieves and to keep animals in line. Over time, the walking stick gradually began to be known as a symbol for power and strength and eventually authority and social prestige. The term walking stick and walking cane, or just cane, were used interchangeably, all referring to the same thing. In more modern times, canes have been reserved for the elderly needing assistance or support while walking, while walking sticks were used broadly as a fashionable accessory. As time went by, some would have distinction between sticks and canes based on the materials used. Sticks were made of ivory, whalebone, ebony, and other valuable woods. Canes were made from rattan, bamboo, and other hardy reeds. Quality canes spoke volumes about a person's wealth and social status. The general evolution of walking sticks as an accessory began with the sword. A common item for gentlemen to carry in the 17th century was a sword. This was gradually replaced with walking sticks and or canes as a symbol of gentility. During the late 17th century through the early 20th century, a high quality wooden cane was a crucial accessory for the fashionable man. It told of the wealth and importance of individuals who could afford the silver or gold handle and the sleek hardwood quality. Unique canes in this era were made with animals' spinal columns, dried animal skin, and even glass. These canes became fashionable for men to carry as part of their daily attire. New rules of etiquette were formed during this time. To break this code of behavior was considered a violation of good manners. In 1702, the men of London were required to have a license in order to carry a walking stick or cane. Cane use was considered a privilege, and gentlemen had to abide by those rules or lose that privilege. One example of a cane license reads, You are hereby required to permit the bearer of this cane to pass and repass through the streets of London, or any place within 10 miles of it, without theft or molestation, provided that he does not walk with it under his arm, brandish it in the air, or hang it on a button, in which case it shall be forfeited, and I hereby declare it forfeited to anyone who shall think it safe to take it from him. The fashion for men continued into the 18th century. From time to time, women also carried walking sticks or canes as a fashion accessory instead of parasols. By the end of the 19th century, the gadget cane with additional functions was discovered. These have also been referred to as system sticks. Many of these were usually not that elegant but curious and unrecognizable from the exterior. Yet they conceal a variety of utilities and gadgets such as pillboxes, corkscrews, snuff boxes, compacts, lipsticks, scent bottles, lighters, liquor bottles, photo lockets, vinaigrettes, watches, opera glasses, and even a transverse flute or also a violin. And of course, defensive and offensive weapons such as swords and guns. These gadgets were concealed in the handle or the shaft, and there were no limit to the genius of the inventors. One of my personal favorites is this one. Here's a coat of arm. Um, you would see this and think uh, it's probably a compact, but luckily, you know, uh, to great surprise, when I opened it, I realize it's a men's shaving kit. So we have the mirror, we have the brush, we have the shaving soap, and we have the small razor. I wouldn't shave myself with this razor, I'd probably catch tetanus. 
but um, this is my favorite one of all of them. During this time, ladies began to wear extremely tight lacing. Sticks with vinaigrettes or smelling salts were often carried to revive them in case of fainting due to the lack of oxygen. The sticks that were designed to carry these often had filigree sections to allow an infused sponge to be inserted. They were also used to disperse perfumes into the often smelly public environment a lady might find herself walking through. This walking stick, um, superstitious individuals back then believed that carrying a skull would uh, fend off death. Um, but they also believe that uh, there were certain components that when you smelt them, they would also fend off death. And here is a vinaigrette where you would open it. And this is the kind of sponge you would use in these and soak it in a concoction that your doctor would make. Um, and having that with you and smelling it would um, scare away evil and death. This one, for instance, is a very unique perfume bottle. What's really interesting about this one in particular is that it's a roll-on. So that in itself, you just roll it on um, to dispense the fragrance so you don't have to open and close all the time. And it's pop-up mirror, lipstick compartment, and then to close it, you simply put that in there and it's that little button that secures it. This one is a uh, rouge, still has the puff, and in addition, it has a second compartment where you find the perfume bottle enclosed in here. This one um, has a beautiful inlay silver. Um, and it's multi compartmental. And here you have where you would put the refill. This is more 1900s um, than earlier. Men's gadget sticks generally had a different purpose, even though many men did have a penchant for their perfumes. More commonly, though, men's sticks concealed weapons, drugs, or alcohol, with the infamous sword cane being one of the most notable examples. The fashion in the 20th century then curved toward the umbrella as a popular carrying accessory. Walking sticks were then usually seen only with formal attire, and many of these gadgets were implemented into the umbrella's handle. Nothing more practical than realizing um, for those rainy days, an umbrella might be more suitable than a walking stick. With this one, I found a compartment with a comb on one side. On the other side, I found the mirror compartment, hence this being the mustache comb of a gentleman's uh, umbrella. Today, collectors of canes look for the old, the new, and the novel. So no matter what kind of gadget cane, walking stick, or umbrella you come across, they will definitely delight you with their hidden compartments.